The project I set myself to do over a few days was to produce a new painting. The first stage was to choose a subject matter and look for inspiration in the countryside close to where I live. The second stage, choose a subject matter from a selection of photographs that I had taken. This was the photograph that I finally decided was going to form the background for my new painting. And now the final stage, the painting. Right, here we are having uh, chosen the photograph to do for a little painting and as you can see it is, uh, I just want to do a little small paint, I don't want a big uh, thing, it's more an informal little painting that I can um, stick on the wall somewhere or give on somebody as a gift or something, God help them. Um, so the first thing I'm, I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a background wash on this, I thought I would sort of give it a warm glow so if there's any white or uh, any canvas showing through that it's going to be it's going to be quite a warm color so I was going to do a very light sort of orangey warm wash in the background so that's the first thing you're going to do right, this is a very very bright orange <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be as dark but of course uh, with acrylics they always dark they always um, dry slightly darker I hope they do because this is very it's like a day glow um, orange but I want the I just wanted the background colour to really have some vibrancy because the chances are you know it's all going to be painted over but just to give that the, the tone of the canvas it's probably far too bright and I'm sure a lot of people out there would go what an earth is he doing but you know what I think the thing I like about painting well with a lot of art I suppose it's it's very subjective isn't it and you know it may not work but you know I'll know the next time you know. there we go Put a bit of blue. There's not much going to. There's not going to be much sky showing on this. There's a tiny little amount here um, of sky that's going to be showing. So I'm not. I don't want to get too hung up on the sky. In fact, even less than that. It's probably going to come up to about there. And there's going to be foliage here and here, so there's going to be very, there's only going to be a hint of blue sky showing through. And because I'm cheating slightly on this, um, <clears throat> or to give it another word, artistic license is probably what we like to say, isn't it? Um, originally, on the photograph, the um, the front of this the house is actually the, the bit that I photographed was the tiled roof um, which is obviously a newer part of the property there was the bit behind that had the thatch well actually I'm going to thatch this bit the visible bit rather than put be too um, authentic to the photograph so I'm going to put a thatch on so the next thing I want to do because it's sort of the next thing coming this way is put, put a, um, a thatch on there I think it's time for foliage start going on no it's not it's really pink well, that blue needs to dry really right so 
the foliage is, I'm just putting on the, the dark foliage to start with. I know it doesn't look like much at the moment. In fact, this is the, this is the horrible stage of the painting. I look at the painting at this stage and I go, oh, what have I done? It's awful. But you've just got to carry on. And there's nothing, at this part of the painting, nothing comes through from the background at all. I think what I'm doing is trying to eliminate <laughs> the orange. Okay, well, it's okay, we're getting there. Well, at the moment it looks like a bit, it looks like a cartoon house. <laughs> In the background it looks dreadful, Sorry. But it sort of gives me a guide at this stage of, you know, what's happening. So if you, um, you'll have to forgive me this, this bit. And then there's more foliage in the house. It sort of comes up here. It looks like it almost is one with this, but it's not really sort of more in the background. So I'm just putting, dabbing on some grass in here. And this is sort of the shadow. And for the shadow, um, I've added some of the Posing color on the color wheel, which in this case is violet or, or red, and that is supposedly going to give us a nice shadow color. I don't normally get very technical with these things, but um, I suppose one. I think it's interesting to try out and that works quite well. I'm quite pleased with that actually as a shadow. Right, I think I'm going to let it dry for a little bit because there's a lot of paint on there at the moment and I think I'd rather it dried for a little while. So I've just added a bit more definition to the thatch on the roof. I've put the suggestion of the wall here and a little path going up. Um, there's still an awful lot to do. It still looks at that uh, sort of messy. It looks at, like, uh, you know, a bit of a mess at the moment. It's that horrible. I hate this stage of a painting because part of you think, oh, no, I need to start again. And then, of course, you know, you realise that it's still at a very um, out of focus. It's like an out of focus photograph. You can't really define what it is. So you need to add more detail and contrast and, and shadows and colour and detail, you know, said that. And eventually it all comes together, hopefully, at the end. But what I'm going to do now is probably let it dry for about an hour or so because it's now sort of half twelve. Um, so I'll come back sort of after lunch, after I've had a little bit of lunch, a little cup of tea, a bit of lunch. And then um, take it up from there. But so far, I don't know, I'm 50-50 on at the moment. <laughs> I don't think it's coming out quite as I imagined. But maybe that's a good thing, I don't know. So uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, I pushed the wrong button. So I'm still working on the, on the little wall here.
it was like anything then you just sort of build up layers sort of a, I'll use this as a, a sort of a mid-tone. Let's try, I'll experiment here. I'm not sure what will work. I'm tempted to use, and to make the contrast a bit more obvious. Gonna add a wee bit more highlight in the grass just to bring it out a bit better. This is where you need a steady hand. There's a lovely gate on here which I wanted to and it sort of goes from there up slightly. I'm not very concerned about it being too detailed. But it's a lovely it's a lovely old gate. And I thought it'd be a shame not to include it in the in the painting. Just runs along there. And there's a big... That's horrible doing, doing straight lines, but I'm determined to do them freehand rather than use something else. swirly thing here. God, I'm certainly making work for myself here. Bloody hell. The secret is to make it match on the other side, but if it comes off, it'll just look really good. Phew. I'm just going to put in, start putting in some of the, uh, the highlight leaves in here which are going to be I want them to be really bright they're going to have to really stand out and this is where you start to see a bit of dimension to the painting hopefully And I'm literally just using really bright, bright greens and yellows in here. There we go, that's, that's looking good. So I'm just going to carry on dabbing those on now. I don't think I have too far to go, really. I don't think I've got too far to go. Um, blah, 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 blah. Maybe I, do you know what? Maybe I need, because I've been at it for so long now, maybe I just need time away from it and maybe come back to it later this evening. So I might do that. It still looks a bit dull to me. 
needs a few more highlights. Let's see them on this side. That's better. Right, I know what I'm going to do. I've decided. I don't know why I put this big splurge of green in front of this. I'm going to take that away. I'm going to wait for this to dry and repink that again. The eaves are because I completely lost the cottage now. It defeats the whole purpose. So yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to have to wait. Right, well I think I've finished the painting, finally. Um, it took a lot longer than I was expecting and I kept doing things and think, oh I don't like that. But anyway, I think that if I do any more I'm afraid of, of spoiling something else, so I'm going to leave it while the going's good. I'm pleased with it actually, it's a nice little painting. And I'm quite, I'm quite pleased and it's been a long time since I've done one, so I'm, I'm, you know, it's good, I feel better for doing it. So I might make a few little alterations. Oh, I finished the painting yesterday. I thought I had finished. As usual, uh, what happens is after the after I finish the painting, I look at it again, and sometimes I I can look at it with fresh eyes the next day and say, "Oh no, I think that needs something, you know, there, or maybe that needs, you know, what I mean." So I've made a few little changes. They're they're very very minor changes to the painting. They're they're not huge. I put a bit of a splodge of colour in here. I put a little window up here and just lightened the thatch a little bit and worked a bit on the shadows. Um, and that's it. That's that's the only difference I make. But I think um, I'm pleased with it. So uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you haven't done so already, you can watch the first um, the beginning process of this painting being produced, which was um, first of all going for the walk and getting um, getting some photographs that I was going to use as inspiration for the painting. And then the second video was actually making the choice of which photograph to use um, as, as the basis, as the idea behind the painting. So I hope you, you were able to watch those as well. I'll put links uh, on the video or down below in the description. But uh, for now I'm going to call it a day and just like to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Don't forget to join me on Facebook or Twitter or look at my website for the photographs. Links below. Thanks for watching.